right, it's a wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrows have a great big wheel at the front, two handles and a large container called a pan. It makes it really easy for me to move all of this from one place to another. And then when I'm ready, I can tip up the wheelbarrow and pour it all out. Wheelbarrows are really useful, but do you know how they're made? Let's find out. How is it made? A wheelbarrow. This is a wheelbarrow factory, and inside are lots of robots. All these robots are making different parts of a wheelbarrow. It's like they're doing some kind of dance, isn't it? But not everything is made by robots. People and robots have to work together. When a wheelbarrow is made, it starts off like this, as a sheet of metal called steel. Steel is really strong, and it's used to make all sorts of things, like bridges, cars, even pots and pans. First, the sheet of steel is fed into this machine. A huge weight presses down on the sheet and folds it around a mould. When the metal comes out the other end, it's starting to look a little bit like a wheelbarrow. And now it's time for the robots. This robot picks up the pan and passes it to another machine. It cuts around the side of the pan. The robot then collects the bits that are left over. It's a little bit like the bits of leftover pastry from when you use a pastry cutter. I love all these yellow robots and watching the way they pick up the metal pan and swing it to the next machine. They know exactly when to pick it up and where to put it. The pan is put in this machine, which makes four holes in it. These holes will be used to attach the wheels and handlebars later on. In here are lots of long poles. They're made of steel too, and they're going to become the wheelbarrow's handles. But how does something long and straight become two handles? Well, that's thanks to some more robots. And they're very noisy. 